What's up everybody, Mr. OG Games here. Big shout outs to Homer Wood, Renee Mendoza, and Serpent Slayer. I do appreciate the comments and the support. And I also have a big, I'm sorry that it takes so long in between some of these videos. I've had this footage now for almost a week and a half and it's killing me that I can't get it out. But anyway, let's get right to it. In the recent weeks, they have released a step up from once your VIP 12, you can now unlock SVIP. And well, that is going to bring a lot of special privileges for you as a player. And of course, as a cost, of course, you know there's got to be some kind of tie into it, right? So just to go down the list, as you can see on the screen, the first level would be melee HP. And then after you get a certain amount of badges, you can unlock ranged attack. And then the list goes on elite war attack and HP, invasion attack and HP, elite war damage and invasion damage. So let's kick this off and get it bought, which I did. Special little incentive there to get the 15 badges you need to open up the first level. Now, once the first level is opened, since you reached VIP 12, and of course you have been accumulating VIP points, they are now used to basically upgrade all of these special SVIP bonuses. So what does it do? What does it cost? And that's what we're going to basically review and kind of go in through the ins and outs. And this is an introduction to this. Uh, since I recorded this footage, uh, I've learned of a lot of, uh, information on the technical side of how many you know how many badges it takes to do this uh how many vip points does it take to you know get the certain levels and we're not going to review all that today uh, because that is still an ongoing process and i would like to share that with you guys once i have the full list available to basically throw up on the screen and let you all take notes so, introductions. The 15, of course, unlocks. So we're now, we can upgrade the melee HP. And uh, once you unlock the melee HP, you use your VIP points to upgrade each level. And each level brings 1% HP. It's pretty big deal actually you know this game is all about math it's all about strategy and it's all about numbers it's a numbers game and one percent is a pretty big number in this game you think one percent and you know in real life one percent of you know anything isn't a whole lot uh, but one percent in war and order is, is it can be a make or break going up against someone else so your first level melee HP now it does take a lot of VIP points to get these up <clears throat> so where are you gonna get these well as you can see right now the Alliance shop, of course, you can you can buy 100 and 300 uh, packs. Uh, I have not seen yet any that are coming out to be sold for the VIP packs, which is kind of I would I would have thought they would have already came out with the VIP packs, uh, but I haven't seen any. So where you're going to get these? Um, the trader is a good spot. The merchant ship to get some VIP uh, points. Also, 
the Alliance shop, you can get your 100, you can get your 300s there. And then of course, and I'll show you here in just a little bit, uh, you can also, when you go to upgrade uh, in the SVIP, it will also say if you don't have a certain uh, VIP points, like the thousand VIP points, you can buy them with gems. So that's pretty much the only area that you're gonna be doing that at. Now, after the first initial time that you buy the 15 badges, that is no longer available. That's like a one-time, hey, you bought it, you unlocked it, here you go, wada ta. And then of course, you get these special little fireworks. So, you know, I, I, I like fireworks, man. Who doesn't like fireworks? Especially when you bust somebody's ass open on the map. So, not bad, little crown, throwing some jewels around, cause yeah, it takes a lot to keep SVIP rolling up. And uh, yeah, yeah, you get some fireworks, but they're not there forever. You only get a certain amount. And then, of course, they're linked with a timer, as you saw. Now, the badges. You can buy 20 badges per day. So, add those up. And I'll go back to it here in just a little bit where you can see on the screen uh, what I'm referring to. But if you were to buy 20 per day, okay, and then each day... And it's sort of like VIP. When you log in, you get a login uh, VIP points. Uh, you get a login badge uh, amount of two. Okay, so I've been, you know, and as of this video, this was taken a while back, uh, but you get two a day. So that's gonna slowly, slowly accumulate to where you can finally get enough to open up the next level which would be the ranged attack now you do not have to level up the HP all the way to the top uh, before you can go to the second tier you simply have to have the badges uh, so in the days since I made this video I think I've done one or two levels on the HP um, I have collected the two daily badges, uh, you know, to, to help with my little journey uh, to getting the ranged attack. And um, only when I'm close will I maybe spend the 10 bucks to get the 20 badges. You figure that's 10 days worth of badges in one shot. One shot, you know that's that's insane so if you're a big spender you're gonna have the SVIP maxed out pretty quick pretty quick and uh, as you can see here I've used all my 1k packs and of course you can see you can get them with the gems so if you're buying a lot of gems well this is gonna be no problem for you to go ahead and level up pretty quickly and if you're willing to buy the 20 per day, you can level up very quickly. And this SVIP stays active as long as you have VIP active. So you don't have to activate the SVIP. It stays active when the VIP is, is on. So another key factor to always keep VIP on, I know I've said it in many videos, um, for all its many uh, privileges that it gives you this again is another major boost to your arsenal really if you figure I think the highest level of HP that I've seen is 12 that's 12 percent right there right there and all you had to do was buy it you didn't have to learn it. You didn't have to, you know, do a special uh, task in order to do it. You simply bought it. And that's a whole nother discussion on how easy now it is to separate yourself from somebody in 
you know, say I'm VIP 12, okay, somebody with my same identical castle, same identical stats, they've got VIP 12, but you know what, they're spending like a madman, and now they have SVIP, and they've got it at least, at least the first two levels, the HP and the ranged attack, got, you know, they have those up at level 11, 12, well, there you go. Signed, sealed, delivered. Pay for it, you get it. And that is going to make a whole lot of people very, very hard to touch for a while until either A, you get to VIP 12, or B, you decide to spend it up to equal them. And that's, that's the game changer. That's the big deal. So there you have it. SVI, SVIP. Man, I don't know. We'll see how far it goes, and I'll update you as we do it. But as always, if you guys like the video, smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, y'all keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.